I'm giving you a few points to navigate you at this hour. He says, number one, seek first the kingdom of God. Meaning, in whatever you do, always seek first the kingdom of God. Number two, he says, okay, I can jump that. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. In whatever you do, let there be a reflection of that love. Number three, right? Is it three? Number three, be totally available to the Lord. I am giving you some things. And each of them has scriptures which we don't have time to go through. I'm giving you some things now that will help navigate you. These principles are in the Bible. Each of them has scriptures. Make sure in whatever you do, you are available to the Lord. If there is a work, a job, you are taking up a course, a university degree that makes you not available to the Lord, uh -huh. then you need to think about it, right? The other one says, don't seek the approval of man, but of God. Oh yes. Listen to me pastors in Kenya. In whatever you do, never ever seek the approval of men, but seek the approval of only the Lord. The other one is, learn to stand alone even in the church. If you are in a church, a youth church, where there is sexual immorality you surely do not have to subscribe to that if you are a pastor and you are in a pastor's fellowship where they are talking about how they should do this let's invite someone from where so he can give us what whatever and there is no agenda of heaven he says learn to stand alone even in the church. You rather walk alone. I don't know whether I have time. Can I give more? But we need to receive the Lord before the broadcast goes off. Let Jesus be your perfect example of singular focus on God the Father. Because every time Jesus spoke, he says, my father, my father, I do the work of he who sent me. If you see me, you see the father. Anything left? Be an example others 